everybody, it's Lori from Lori's Crafty Corner. Today I have this very, very sequin heavy, embellishment heavy layout to share with you today. Um, I started out with this rainbow paper by Paige Evans from her Truly Grateful collection. And I have this roughly three by four picture of um, my family and I. And I first start by adding some paper layers beneath it. Now I only chose like a pink paper, green, blue, and yellow patterned paper um, to sort of create like a, <laughs> a patterned paper sandwich beneath my picture. I'm going to be popping up my picture on some craft foam as well. So I have my picture a layer of patterned paper, craft foam, some more pa 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 sorry, some more patterned paper layers, and then another layer of craft foam um, because I really want my picture to stand up, to not stand up, but pop off of my um, layout for the sole reason that I went crazy with this layout. I really added a lot, a lot of stuff. so. I still want my picture to be the focal point. So another thing that I'm going to be adding is mixed media. If you've seen other layouts that I've made for Speak and Mom Scraps and um, whichever other design team I'm part of, you know that I love to add mixed media. It adds another layer of interest to the layout. So what I did is I picked out 14 different colored um, shimmers um, you can see I'm placing them there on, um, I'm trying to match them as close as possible to um, the specific color. Um, some of them are not like the true color, but it's enough. Um, if you're interested in knowing the names of them, I'll have them written down in the description box below. Um, but I do use, yeah, 14 different. So it's one color for each section. And what I'm going to be doing is I already marked where my picture is going to be. And then um, I'm going to, um, with each color, I'm going to do the packaging technique closer to the, to the area where my picture is going to be. And then I'm just going to add splatters towards the outer edge of each wedge of color. And I just love how this turned out, even though when you really look at it, it's like, where is her, where's her mixed media? Because I add so many things on top of it that I cover most of the mixed media aspect. Um, yeah, I cover mo most of the shimmers, but you do get those peaks of shimmeriness. Um, from between the embellishments and the inspiration for this layout came from a previous layout that I made a while back um, where I just did like sort of color blocking I don't have a process video for it I don't um, have it on social media so I can't um, so I can't link you through it to it but I sort of did the same thing. I started to, um, yeah, the way that I did that other layout, I remember it had like five different colors on the same pattern paper. So I just did a bit of color blocking, so to speak. Here, I like duplicated, like I tripled it because I have way more colors than I did back then. And what I love about this is that you can easily use up a lot of different sequins from different sequin packets. Um, if you have a stash of Spiegel Mom sequins that you really want to use up, um, this is one way to do it. Also, if you have in your stash lots of embellishments, this is one an another way, like random embellishments, um, this is another way of using them up. One other thing that I'm going to be adding to this layout, and you'll see towards the end, I do add the palette puffs that you can find in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. It, it, they are amazing. They are wonderful. I love that they add texture and whatnot. Okay, so now my background is dry. 
I actually took a break, let it dry. I sifted through my May kit, not May kit, April kit. I made a homemade um, kit from my stash. Um, and what I did is I started to pull lots of different random embellishments. I have scissors. What does that have to do with the picture? Nothing, but it's pink and I wanted to use it in the layout. Um, I have a typewriter. I have some leaves, some flowers, feathers, mushrooms. It's crazy. Really, it really is. So at first I started like picking from that little pile I had um, and sort of placing them in their color section. Some of the colors are not true, true the same color, but it's good enough. Um, instead of going like typically on a layout like this, I would divide everything sort of, um, I call it rehearsing, like place things where I think they might go and then move them around. But here I just almost quite literally threw them into their section. And then I was like, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time, um, like rearranging everything and then gluing it down. So I partially did that. I rearranged a couple of things, but then I just commit committed to it and started sticking things down. Now, this is a very lengthy process video. Um, I'm really fast forward this part um, because I just wanted you to see um, what things I stuck down as is, what things I popped up on some craft foam to create um, some dimension, what things I layered underneath each other or on top of each other to really get that very dimensional layered look. Now, that um, tag, I think we can call it, that tag that says party animal, um, I do end up adding some faux stitching in blue ink around the border because it just looked like BAM too, too white in your face. Um, I had debated whether or not to like trim the letters out, but I didn't. I really didn't want to do that. So I just like, um, yeah, I just left it as is. And as I'm going around adding things, layering things and gluing things down and whatnot, I'm also like, since I know that they're going there and they're already stuck down, I add some more things into each section. And then I do the same thing. Once I'm done gluing everything down, um, cause I started with the blue sec with the purple section, and then I come full circle over to the purple section. I do that as well. This, these butterflies are from, um, are from a single die cut. So what I did, I just trimmed them apart and had one butterfly for, um, the red, pink and purple sections. Um, I cut up that, um, journaling tag from Chamel's field trip collection. I removed the ladybug and then just placed the butterfly in the edge on the edge. Um, so as you can see, I'm er trying to rearrange things into their color sections as much as possible. I don't do not mind it if like some of the red spills over into the pink or some of the orange into the yellow because this is a rainbow and what it does is that if you see a tiny pit, pe a tiny peak of color that's l on top of another color, it just draws your eye to it. And in terms of trying to bring all the different embellishments, I try to balance my embellishments between embellishments that had a white border around them to embellishments that didn't have a white border around them. Um, because I felt that it would help further bring your eyes to the actual section. And now here comes the fun part. I used, if I recall, six different uh, packets of sequins, not full packets, but I do remember I used Purple Passion, Ocean of Color, um, Sirens of Spring, Tangerine Dream, um, Happy Vibes, Pink Promenade, 
and there was one else that I used. Um, it'll be linked down below. Oh yeah, the 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 hexagons, the teal hexagons one. Um, I forget the name of it, but yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm just placing sequins tone on tone. I'm trying to incorporate sequins that have different textures. If you purchase um, Sweet Mom sequins in the past, you know that some of them are flat, some of them have ridges, others are flowers, um, some have hearts. So I'm trying to, um, I'm trying trying to switch it up and create like give it extra texture, extra detailing by using different types of sequins in each um, color section. Oh yeah, I, I also use the Marmalade Tarte sequins, um, sequin packet as well. So I used quite a lot of sequins. If you're inspired, you can, if you have a, a pattern paper like this, you can easily do this. You can even leave it at just sequins, no embellishments as at all. But I really wanted to use my random stash of, of embellishments um, to create um, this sort of layout. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I want, and I, pr I probably will. I'll trim the, the branding strip off and I'll place it in uh, a shadow box and put it up in my living room because I just love this. And I have to be honest, when I first started this layout, I was like, when I added, the, it, it was more when I added the mixed media, I was like, I was a bit skeptic as to will I like this or not? Oh yeah, that's another packet of sequins that I um, uh, I used, but I can't see the name. Yeah, Glitz and Glam, that's the other one. And I do use a couple of sequins from the Summer's Farm um, sequin packet as well. Um, but I was a big skeptic at, as to how this layout was going to turn out. It was a very different idea that I had in mind, but I so love how it turned out. One other thing that I'm adding, and these are the palette puffs. They are gorgeous. They add just the right touch of um, texture to the layout, and they're tiny. They don't add a lot of bulk to the layout. And I'm so glad that I had a color for each, nearly each wedge. Here are the close-ups, guys, and I hope I've inspired you to use up your embellishments to use up your sequins and your palette puffs be sure to get your hands on them if you haven't already because they are amazing i love them yay pom-poms remember guys you can get 15 percent off by using the, co the code lorimar15 it'll be written down below um you can save 15 percent or more <laughs> you can save 15 percent on your next spiegel mom scraps purchase with that code. And guys, I'll see you back soon with another process video. Stay sparkly.